People, this is the first podcast, no. first time no. ever. Is it rolling? Oh shit, it is rolling. Yes, oh, yes, <laughs> the best podcast. All right, <laughs> no, welcome everybody. Uh, hey everybody, hey, welcome to the first and maybe the last <laughs> podcast that we're doing. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's called Thoughts of the Nation. It is Thoughts of the Nation. Which nation are we nations? talking about? Every Ukraine one. nations, baby. Every nation counts. Wait, every, like, Japan? every no, no, every nation. What, what about you? We're talking about Vanguard here. <laughs> there may be other things too. We will know. We'll, we'll, okay. Comes up. So, you see here we got five cards. These are going to be our representatives, kind of like our spokespeople. Basically, our diff writers, if you would state. Woo! So, who wants to go first? My dick. Yeah, fuck it. All right. Of course, this dude. Who are you? Uh, I'm. Playmaker Summer! <laughs> <laughs> is this isn't you, Gil. <laughs> and once bad. again, no, there you go. No, he just breaks here's the barrier off the bat. He is Playmaker Summer. I am Playmaker. I mean, I am just call me Revolver. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are you Revolver also locked down? No, revolver. Just revolver. Just revolver. And once again, another Yu-Gi-Oh reference. These nerds. We're all nerds here. Playing a Tony's card game. Yeah. Vince, you're next. I am Doctor G. I don't have a representative because I. Your representative I, is a no. pony. I, rep I represent all. Because that's why I'm just gonna be a pony. Here. The wubs, though. Uh, it's gonna be the wubs. Yeah, I'll, I'll just be a pony. The wubs. Wubble wubble. Wubble yeah, dub I don't. Dub. I don't have oh, a real representative because I. I actually play every different type of deck. Oh, All right. Cool. Next up is the professor. The professor. I am the professor. No. He sold the professor. The professor. The professor. The professor. Who are you? Uh, well, this, this I, the big I, kahuna. Well, if the big well, kahuna. I am the big kahuna, but because this is truly me, because this card has shown me that this can be lost, I am none other but the traitor. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. You want you want. For a minute, I thought you were gonna be um, uh, which part? Um, Tail Moon. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. They're so, they're all we're here to talk about some discussions, and at our local shop, we have a serious discussion to talk about. Does that Reading! Work? Reading! Well, that, but no. Uh, uh, I want to talk about reading! No. Reading, the, 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 reading. We'll get to that. Yes! The, 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 the major thing that we need to get out of the way right now is, is resist. Oh. Resist? Resist. Why is that? Wait okay. a minute. Hold up. Because this is part of reading. Because you know how many we, how many times we had them issues? How many times? This goes deeper than reading. This goes way uh, deeper. Too many talking down the rabbit hole and back again deeper. Oh, Everyone yeah. needs to learn to read their dang cards. Seriously. All right. Well, besides yes, this point, especially me. Yes, you. Especially, especially you. <laughs> but keep up. Sometimes. <laughs> but besides the point, uh, resist. It's becoming a thing where a lot of cards now. Have resist. Okay. Have resist, but not really that. It's the how the wording is, and everyone knows because how the card what card is texted on whatever the ability is. Yeah. The ability states it cannot be targeted or selected by opponent's abilities. Now, through what we have learned through some research and also an email from Bushy Road stating resist units literally cannot be messed with, even if the opponent is selected through an idea through an effect. So the opponent still cannot select resist units apparently according to Bushy Road. Right. So <laughs> At least you only got one minute. No, you just, no that, what that means is that he's being a sly fuck. <laughs> he's trying to roll for initiative. He's trying to make me trip on a table and die. So, as, so basically, the, the, the point that we're getting at here is how resist is a lot of people feel there are some cards and decks now that either benefit or don't benefit from this severely. Right. Uh, one being Link Joker. You all guys know that, yes, that they're coming out with a new set and new grade three, new strides. But the fact that Resist is out there and you have a field of at least five, do you guys think this might hinder a lot of decks in the future just because all the Resist cards coming out? Uh huh. Oh, uh, you mean like you're talking about some of the cars that um, that that like get affected by units that have resist? Well, apparently resist means they just can't be messed with. Period by your abilities, right. even no longer targeting. Apparently, world effects and stuff like that. I don't can't know. even mess with them. Is that what they're saying? Just jumping in it. We originally thought that if there was a skill that said, oh, if um, 
me, if the two of us are playing, uh -huh. if I have a skill that says, okay, he has to choose the targets, that it would get around that. But the way that it's written in the comprehensive rules, if the effect literally has choose in its text, choose or chooses, uh -huh. it still does not affect resist. Really? Yes. So, meaning this, how I'm seeing it is why they haven't shown anything, especially for Link Joker or any, or especially Link Joker out of the star set, is you guys think maybe they might give new Great Threes or even the new Strides, saying affecting the circle and any unit on the circle besides that, because that does get around resist because it's not affecting it, it's, it's affecting, affecting the, the circle, circle status. I, uh, I heard something about, um, Resist basically now covering the circle as well. If no, they can't do that. Yeah. Can they? I have no idea. Well, well I mean, the if, unit. Well, I, I, I thought I used to think that like resist was like pretty clear cut. Like you it know, was. You, it was supposed to be because even on when the first resist cards ever got made, right. the, the text on resist right. stated resist it can't be the card. Yeah. The unit itself yeah, can't be selected by the effects. Right. No, hold on. This, this, yeah. is, this is when technological advances come in. This is when we get really smart. Or you could just oh, remember yeah. back from GB1 exactly what Resist says. This unit cannot be chosen by the effect of your opponent's cards. So it's, it's worded that way. Yeah. So if your, opponent says, if your opponent's card says that I get Professor here to choose, one, if I'm locking one of Professor's cards and he has, got, he has to choose it himself, he can't do that because it's basically my effect Affecting him? Is that, is that what you're trying to tell me? Well, what I'm saying is, is resistance itself is is because of the common sense rules, like Josh said, is if the card is selecting you to choose or it's just chosen, the resist unit cannot be chosen. It's coded. It's protected by that. So it's just straight up protected. It's just straight up protected at all times. So what this also means. Is opponent's effect that says choose. Yes. So even if it says your opponent as in the person who uses the ability chooses, <laughs> it still has really? choose in the text. So oh, that so means means carnivore dragon. Okay. Thanks, Bushy Road. No, because, <laughs> because here's the thing. If that is the case, and how I'm seeing it, and you guys might agree with me or disagree with me. If that is the case, if card says you have to choose to or choose to and you can't do this, as as Revolver said, is Carnivore Dragon another one, as you all know, the original OG, um, uh, Blaster Dragon, or what was the other one uh, out of the uh, Red Legend so deck? The Red Legend so deck. Spectral? No, it wasn't Spectral. Diablo. Oh, Diablo. 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 So, the, the other Diablo card says the opponent has to choose. So if that's true, that means it, they cannot choose resist units. And that means because you can't choose them and you can't retire anything, I get the power or now you can't guard against this attack. So if that is if that is the case, that means those cards should be a little bit more valued as that. Wouldn't you agree? So, do you I think more resist. The reason I play Carnivore for me is there's certain decks that I want to clear their field. And the whole reason I played Carnivore was the fact that if they had a unit of resist, Carnivore would get over that because I'm not targeting them. They're picking them Exactly, as yeah, we yeah, all And so that. now, that is just like, oh, well, here's Neonet, the Neonet that has two resist units now. Now I can't target a Neonet, so Neonet keeps their field, and then they just get bigger next turn. Well, so now I can't blow them up, and now... Well, here's the thing oh, why I'm... Time, but I'm, they still have their units and that, to and become that's big. Why, that's why, and I, that's run, scary as that's why I run this in my deck. Because at rest it, it gains the auto, it gains resist. So that that's a, and also it's an interceptor from that either. Um, either I was say you don't run it for the resistibility. You ran it because just for the fact of no, hey, I'm not GB. Into the rescue. Next number of I on field now are basically way more powerful now because there's not that many ways to get rid of that card. Basically, no way to get rid of that card now. This is the dilemma that we're seeing right now, and especially as you guys can both agree, of the star set, and not only that, set 14. Shadows, maybe even dark and regulars, but shadows, Nubatama. Uh, Link Joker itself, I, I personally think they have to give them something that can get around that because how I'm seeing as a business, that's going to make them lose a lot of money, in my opinion. Because why would you play with a deck if they go against a, a, a deck that has resist that's just, you, you can't do anything about it. That's true. I'll see what I can do. I mean, 
I, 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 I'm worried about is because for me, because I play Ward and I play OTT for now, but Ward is just so powerful as is. There's, I was talking to the person beforehand. Where do you go with Ruard? Ruard is the shadow deck. It is him. He is well, the deck. You well, Ruard, how well there? What can you do with Ruard? Well, you, you say, say that. You great free? There, there's, there's that great free. The best great free. Well, you ever say that, but people still, still like playing the Diablo slash Ruard just for they a really little bit more variation and opinion. everything. Yeah. Answering the question too, kind of from another perspective, we already saw what happened with Gabriel. Just bringing up the cards as an example. We knew OG Gavriel was the best Gavriel just because of the defensive and offensive power, but then they gave them shock. It opens up new possibilities because of the sport that came with it, so that could be one road that Luard could be taking. They could give them a new Luard that also gains some additional support. Yeah, but me and Revolver can agree they shouldn't do that. This card is all out of a structure deck, mind you already fixes a major issue with Shadows, which is not only keeping your field replenished, but returning materials you're going to need in later turns, especially Droll. I feel, if anything, and like I was talking about before, give him a grade 3 that can support them. Like, hey, I ride on him. The cost is Soul Blast, Counter Blast 1. Look through your deck for Luard, immediately ride it. But you still lose a I've soul. I've always been advocating is, for Luard to have a superior ride. I've been wanting a superior ride for because Luard we, for so because long. Because I, if you don't ride Luard, if you're playing a pure Luard deck without Blaster for that Diablo build, if you're playing pure Luard, if you don't ride him, you lose. Period. Okay, so then another route that they could also take, like they're doing with other um, current builds, like Big Melly, yeah. they're giving them a grade three that can work on rear. Yeah, but they've been they, they've been doing yeah, that yeah. They, they they've been doing that lately because I mean we can look at Shaharlet. Shaharlet is an amazing rear guard because when it attacks, not only it gets five k for literally nothing, you can't use zeros. Yeah, true. So like it, it, it's a silent. It's a form of a silent tom. I just really feel that besides this, because hey, protagonist, because no, you don't, you don't get to say anything. <laughs> and that Most people agree with me. This is no longer a toolbox deck. This is a garage. They have every single answer for every single situation. They, they are Home need. Depot. They are yeah. really Home Depot. <laughs> they like these. This is the Rockefeller. Like this. This, and most people would agree, this deck is so cancerous, you come five feet Hold next on. to most really? people, you just no, no. got that. No, no, cancerous. Vince, this still no, wins. No, Dr. K. But he's, he's right. Basically, certain certain formations of this deck, basically, if you play the meta, I'll, I'll make that. Of course you make that. Basically, the meta, it, it revolves around this being your great three, but it requires you to basically... Sacrifice some power for technique. It, basically, if you're if you're willing to do loop, loops, like like eight attacks, with the, all, the max power you're really going to hit is maybe 11 or 16, and one defensive trigger shuts your whole thing down, you can still keep doing it, but it's a waste of resources. Fair. That's why you do it when they're at five damage. It, when you do no this, you when, you do this when you do this, you do this as early on because basically you're pressing to, and it requires you to drop, basically keep dropping hand. Oh, to, okay. Right. I guess it's different from the baton. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like how you play the leaders. It is. <laughs> because how, how Playmaker Sava said is, you know, most uh, most of the, or if, it, if it's gone, then fine, but I think it's still out there. If the meta decks are still like this where, one trigger shuts them down. Most people thought Nubatama was the same case. Like, oh, one trigger shuts you down. That's why I kind of evolved to go with these two bad boys. My one is my stand. One is my Iggy. Basically, is they just get. It doesn't matter if a trigger shuts me down. I'm still gonna attack because they still get big. Especially this dude. Uh, like I showed, um, Pony Man Extreme over there, aka the Doctor G. The Doctor G. Is he was really intrigued. He goes, "Oh, I never saw that guy. What does he do?" When we played a match, he goes, "I like that a lot." So he just gets big because we played a match where I attacked anyway with what was it? A 13k, 14k. You already had a trigger, and you were like, "Why is he attacking?" And he just got big, and he was gonna be the next attack. And he goes, "How big is that?" I'm like, "Well, he's." 
27, no, he's 32. He goes, wait, really? He goes, how? And I'm like, well, it just gets big every time I dominate unit attacks. Five guys attacked, and he got more power because of, uh... Yeah, that, that is pretty uh, great. You could, just, you could just put him up, up front, too. You don't have to put him in the back. Exactly. Like, he, if, you don't have, you don't, if you don't have the attackers, just put him up in front. Yeah, exactly. And he'll be a big-ass But we're getting off topic. So, oh. back to... Kind of. <laughs> kind so, of. So back to the point is how far is this? Gonna how how far is was this going to become an issue, or is it going to be to the point where only certain cards and certain decks that don't even see competitive play? Well, certain decks are, are going to become way more competitive. New well, deck there is going to become way more competitive. Yeah, yeah. it's a it's, thing it's, it's a deck. It's like yeah, Bushy Roads messed with from the very beginning and didn't give them the support they needed from the very beginning, and now they're finally giving it to them. Yeah. I mean, if you want to get the Neo to now, it's kind of really pricey. So of course it's, it's pricey. Like, How much is Dream Spinner? Dream Spinner is like what? Well, the only reason it's pricey is because Tokaha has big boobs. That's over. Oh, hold up, hold up. I got a question to ask you. Do you want red or blue? <laughs> well done. Red. Well done. Always. <laughs> so. That's basically our point. Is that is a bit of an issue with yeah, because Vanguard of the way because of the way they worded it, right? They want it, 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 it's not the way they worded it. It's really it, it, it's the, the, the more yeah, the yeah. more in depth rulings morph it into a conglomeration of wait, that's a thing. Oh, that's it. Right. Um, <laughs> they, 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 they really should like redefine how, how it is. And they might, and they might. If it gets too out of control, because like I said to most people, what's the point of spending $250 or $300 on cards you really want to play with, but their mechanic revolves around feel affecting or choosing units, and you can't because, let's just say, the two next meta decks are Asha and Fathis just because of resist, resist, resist. You're not gonna spend money on Link Joker. You're not gonna spend money on certain things. And as a company, Calgary, a Bushy yeah. Road. You don't rub that in. Well, no, because, <laughs> because there's no vanguard with resist on your opponent's turn. But it's just really retiring units is the big thing. And I will admit, Aqua Force needed something to protect their units. As most experienced players will know, you rather take hits than lose a rear guard in the next time you stride because that rear guard can make or break things. That's why the new father says, hey, the unit I call out or the unit I select, that has resist to end a turn. <laughs> but even then, they got values now, and values is just ridiculous because it gave them the resource that they wanted for so long, keeping their opponent at 11K. I got two of those. I hate you still. <laughs> We will all in. agree that man has a keyblade. It is a keyblade. The bios is just really but, I mean, strong, and now with the resist thing. Bios, but let's get that out of the way. Let's talk bios about, is gonna be running let's, ramp. Let's, 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 let's talk about the some, real juicy some, stuff. Some oh freaking, yeah, some freaking decks really just need their freaking gear guard sometimes. Let's, okay, but let's get to the main next stuff too. The main next stuff. Reading. We've been over reading. We did. We, we kind of skipped reading. All right, fine. People, read your cards. Thank you. That's all. I'm read saying. your cards. If you have oh, rulings or questions, ask a friend. If you are still not sure, call for a judge. Get a judge ruling. And if you're still not sure, email Bushy. Say, hey, this is what happened here. We were really unsure. What does the effect take over? They will give you a resolve effect and tell you, okay, here's what's gonna happen. It's as simple as that. Take five minutes out of your day just to do this. It, not even reading. Reading takes 10 seconds. Look at my fingers. 10. It takes you 10 seconds just to do it. Count. What, I, what about my extra finger? I'll be 11. All right, well then you get one more second. Yes. Count your toes if you yeah. have to. I'm satisfied. Oh, shit. I'm satisfied, I'm satisfied, I'm satisfied with this reading. Unless we brought it up. I'm sad. Alright, but let's talk to the real juicy stuff. Set 14. Oh I'm yeah, that you, is coming I'm out. You. Yeah. It, it's coming out in a while, but let's start with Playmaker Sama because no one Gear Chronicle, every set they have support. I, I really I, I'm not saying this because protagonist. Protagonist. I, I'm saying this because uh, if you if you play a fun Chrono Jet based deck. Chrono Jet the fun? It really hurts you if you do not get Chrono Jet. I'm not saying, I'm saying them give them a, a Chrono Jet, like they did with Fang. Give them a rear guard Chrono Jet that can work. It doesn't have to be 
have to be any good, just something else for for so you, for you, So what, 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 what you want is you want a grade one or, a tr or I'm not gonna even say trigger because they have enough stuff there, but you want a grade one or a grade two. I'm no, I'm it says your Vanguard if it's Chrono Jet, it gives Chrono Jet an ability to end a turn. Is no, that what you I, I, want? I'm saying give them another Zodiac Time Beast. Chrono Jet for just for namesake. It doesn't have to have a good ability because a, a lot of the stuff they're releasing now it requires you to have a time beast and a, and mostly a Chrono Jet Vanguard. If you do not get one, it's literally yeah. But I shoot yeah. yourself. I, I shoot yourself. You lost. You, you lost. Yes, yeah, but I find that's fine because we have to still look at the fact as. When Zodiac Time Beast first came out and got serious support, there was no real name beat. They, no, no, it was not even that. They had no restrictions. It was just like, hey, guess what? You get to do it. And then, once again, our, our Revolver's persona is Playmaker Sama's AI here literally came out of a structure deck and the ability is crazy because we saw him break off from next stage and said oh we're not done his ability is gonna go off guess what all my zodiac time beasts get pretty big him though enjoy this massive power so once again Grade threes out of structure decks and everything are really good, and I feel like that's probably what she wrote's excuse is we gave you a dirty card, be satisfied with that. We're still gonna give you st good stuff, but we're gonna do what we want to do. Now moving on to Revolver, we already went over what he really wants, but what, what about a stride sake? What, what do you think for a stride that this guy can get? Honestly, I just like I said before, I really want the Superior Ryan. This right so far has been really consistent on giving. Wide support, really good support. Like, all of the support cards are really good. Even the comments have been really seems, good. Yeah, you so, can run a tech in a one, you're still gonna be able to get it next turn. Like all of Bush will do is just literally just surprise me. Give me something that you're like, okay, this unit does this, or this drive does that. Surprise me. Yeah. To be in it. But really, give me a green free that can superior wide Luar. I think that's what everybody like, likes. Like, like, just for namesake. Just, just for, for namesake. namesake. That's all I'm saying. But you, you, don't, you, don't, you don't want to work for it, man? No, no, no. Like, 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 like I'm you tired said, of not winning of... because I didn't get Luar in my hand. That's that fine. Is true. That's, and that's why. And that's, like, that's my really one, bad. And that's my one thing. Though. That's why yeah, I'm saying. A different, like, a and that's why I'm saying I need a, another Zodiac Time Beast Chrono J. It doesn't, like, it doesn't have to be good. Because a lot of my stuff, a lot of stuff, how I built my deck, literally says if my vanguard is not a funnel jet, my rear guards, even my rear guards shut down. I'm not even, I'm not even concerned about the vanguard at that point. I'm saying the rear guards, key stuff I can use to maybe survive. Okay, so let, let, turn. Let, let me ask, down. let me, let me ask, let me ask you something then, because his is a little different situation because he needs that stride ability. Let me ask you then, what if they came out with a grade two? The grade two, if it's in your soul, and it's AK base, we have to be fair with this, but if it's, if it's in your soul, and you stride, and your vanguard's heart does not have a chrono jet, you may soul blast one. Because they're, they're probably going to expect you to ride into it. You can soul blast one to end a turn. That is still considered Chrono Jet. I'd be perfect. You'd be fine with that. I'd be fine with that. Would you be fine with that too? No. Oh, he, no, you can't make no, him no, soul no, blast. No. That'd be busted. He needs to have him. That'd be busted. Um, give him soul blast. I'd be like, yo, give me five of those. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I, mean, I get the soul blast building up the ritual. <laughs> Real quick. First turn stride in the drag strider. Let's go. So <laughs> I'll take the next two because I, I love Noob Tama. And I really want to tap. And one thing that we're really, really interested in is what the hell does Gas do? We'll get to him in a moment because that episode does come out tonight. Him and Geese. Geese, yeah. So what I kind of want for Noob Tama is I don't want them to sacrifice domination just because of how the season is going because now he's good i would like them to do kind of a little bit of both i mean after image right? after image and that for people i, I, I kind of want them to do more after image stuff i i after image is not a good enough ability in my opinion but that but dominate is really good can, i know dominate is good but after image is, i i saw some dude who was like making like one of those extreme decks and he, and he put in like that, um, uh, what is it, that Royal Paladin card that removes cards from your from your hand. 
Yeah, but you can't do that anymore. Like in most most scenes, I know everywhere. that. But I mean, like the only reason that the, the thing with After Image is like um, you, you you need to have like less. You have to have less cards in your hand. No, it's not less cards in your hand. It doesn't. It, 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 no, sorry. It's a, it's like six six uh, se, uh, six or six or less. So the the maximum cards of card, cards in your hand is seven, right? So you, like just you have an ability to remove some of that stuff in your hand so that you can at least. Bounce some of that stuff back because that's part of their like a, ability. Like a tech, it's like a, it's a, their ninja uh, magic thing. You know, their ninpo where they I put stuff onto the field and suddenly they all disappear. Uh, Boom! Magic, magic back into my hand. So I just want like you know, but then if your hand is like full, yeah, so like, how, how, would you, then, how would you feel about something? But Royal Paladin, they have a unit that lets you bind as many. No, that's what he's saying. Uh, no, that's what I'm saying. Using the deck. I want, yeah, like binds like. So uh, you want a card that you sacrifices itself. You can bind as much cards as you want out of hand. Because I want to bounce some of that, that card and stuff back. Because that's the whole thing with their after, their after image. It's like you know, like I said, Ninpo magic. Bounce them back in your hand. But, but then if your hand, if you have like a full hand, full hand, then you know you can't bounce that, that stuff back. Yeah, but like domination be better. I mean, a lot of times it doesn't matter how many cards you have in your hand. I know domination is better. I'm not, I'm not disputing. So powerful, it's just like, I, I'm not disputing that domination is better. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that to, just to make oh, no, after image no. better. It's like, well, you know, for what? Perfect cards are gonna like. Destroyed. Well, no, it's not that. It's the whole idea that's very similar to Brave, where they were trying to have, um, they were having trouble trying to get that um, certain number of cards in hand. So we're after the topic of why she on sucks. That's a topic for another day. Just the idea of trying to make the most out of that um, hand size for after yeah. image. I kind of see where you're coming from. Yeah, but in my opinion, though, they tried after image. This with a new, with a brand new okay. gang of Nubatama, she knew who was one of the most priced this. out cards when Reckless Rampage came out. And now, I feel that what you realize, like, it's not good enough. Like, it's not good enough to make this clan stand out. That's why they gave domination. If, if, and if anything, if I remember correctly, in the show, didn't he become the ability to use dominate after when uh, Mujin Lord taught him how to do it? Or no, did he DJ just gave it to him. So he no, said, still gave it to him. So, oh yeah, so, Gast, so he still has that ability. Does he not? He does. He does. So maybe we'll see both. I would like to see both. To uh, at least he, both crowds. He should. We should have changed up the plot entirely. For for the grade three and the and stride to surprise me. Do something wacky out. Uh, I'm not gonna. Who's no. you really surprise me? You keep showing Ratty. Where's my shadow witch? <laughs> you keep Another showing time. her. Another time. Another time. Another time. Another time. I haven't Another time. bring back I, best girl. Stop, I haven't. Stop, stop it, Professor. I haven't Wait, built that yeah. deck yet. Yes. Right, yes. Oh, professor. Yes. Stop. 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 Yes. Um, Extra, what is it, extra clan boost? No, nation booster. Oh yes, the Awakening Zoo. Awakening Zoo. How do you feel about that? Because, you know, as you can, I am actually glad that you mentioned that. Um, obviously, for one, we have the upcoming Zero Dragon for Zoo, Zoa. We've had a lot of controversy about Yeah, let's, let's, let's talk about her. So, it, it, but that, that's what I'm saying, man. That's not the that's not the whole thing, isn't it? No, but um, it's not because I, I could have sworn it's just like the one from the anime. So they, 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 they no, that's they, her they, skill. That's her skill. That is it, her genuine it, skill. It, it, that's power becomes ninety ninety nine. They ninety nine thousand about for having the anime effects being the actual real effects. Oh, no, it's not because yeah. the, the, yes, it the, it's got five it, nine. No, the, 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 what's it called? The the Dragon Nation one. It doesn't, it doesn't let you strike. All right, so right we'll, we'll 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 leave Gastiel for another topic. So let's. Let's just talk about the Zero Dragons because those are Bullshit. literally. Zero dragons. Oh, it's zero dragons. been a while since we've seen cards priced out this high in Vanguard. Yeah. It has been a while. It has been a so we're gonna go into this and talk about this right now. We're gonna start with Zoa because I think Zoa is the most intriguing out of all. You got a one, one turn kill. It's a one turn kill. I mean, perfect guard. But exactly. The only way out of it is a PG. But besides, have enough cards besides looking at that, let's literally, let's literally, guess ninety nine thousand. Let's, let, let's literally look at this. Now, most people are saying, "Oh, well, you just probably just throw it in, uh, in the Ghidorah, right?" I'm like, maybe. But how? I, I know that, but I think, like I said, I think there are going to be certain decks in replacement that are going to be better with Zoa than anything. The two I'm still going to say is obviously Neo 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 Neo
here in the uh, Nakakani. I'm watching a bunch of time. No, no, no. It's, it's going to be a new uh, nick. Uh, it's either going to be a new nectar or great nature. And the reason why I'm saying that now is, especially maybe even great nature, is because great nature can outbeat you in hand size, and not only that, can beat your hand size down. And if they keep track of what's in hand, they're like, okay, this is a game. Good game. Because the only way to get around that card is a PG. That's it. That's the only way you can stop that card. That and also, I believe the great, the best, oh, okay. the best first like great nature is the one that uses the uh, legion, right? Is that what you're saying? It's no, 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 it's broken it's not because. Totally no, because you're saying because zero of them uh, removes your no, no, entire. No, no, no. Think, think about this then combo as a backup. Yes, then, right? What's the combo? Think about the combo. You have you stride into Zoa. You call a unit from hand. You have Crayon Tiger on the field. No, you can't. You can't do that. It's completely no, no, immune to every single one. So you can't. Even your own opponent. You no sand triggers. Zoa works the same way. As Arusha. Yes. So, you so stand your stand up. triggers your units that can stand it up. Nothing can affect it. It's both a con and a pro. You have to accept both. Hmm. It's a uh, so well, it is a not both. Just your opponent's effects. No, it is okay. completely immune to every single effect. Basically, it gets so roided out, it doesn't know what friend or foe is. It just goes in for the kill. That's literally what it does. So I find it hilarious. If, you're, if you know your opponent doesn't have a PG, or they know you have a PG, but they don't have a card to use to ditch out of it, it's game. And jumping into that a little bit from what Dr. J was saying, um, that does pose the question of um, how, like for a great nature, what they're going to run, knowing that um, if they don't win in that turn, that the whole G zone is gone. So what do you do there? Um, there is the chance that we might come back to see the um, Tester Legion, one of the other Legions, come back as a backup, because you can still break right on top of honorary professor i will say this i feel that cray elemental cards very few of them very certain ones will be more preferably played one of them being the air elemental the grade one which if you do not have anything face up on the g zone you can put it in your g zone it counts as gb activation gb one I can see people take that too if they really want to focus on the dragon will people focus on the dragon who knows like, who really knows? Absolutely. They need to. Like they said, don't need Neo to. Nectar and Great Nature really don't need to. You just pump out your big numbers and, and slide it to him and really I mean, slay well, another I think number. And then I, I know. you're looking at a 99k row that if you don't block it, you automatically lose. And then Oscar's just like, hey, here's big booze with massive power. Here's another big booze with massive power. So this is 99. And the way Oscar makes her numbers, this could be 99, and that could be 99, listen, depending listen, on how you do okay. it. So it's like 99, 99, 99 with the instant kill. Listen, have fun. Listen, <laughs> we can all put our hands down, but I'm gonna say this, and I agree, my man, Playmaker Sama will agree with me. What's the one thing that we can't live without? And as my man Space Danny once said, money, the food. All <laughs> <laughs> well, that too. Most men prefer the chest, but no, the real goal, the real holy land is the booty. <laughs> but, yeah. But let's talk about the two that have not been. No, we're not talking about Giza because that's a topic for another that day. That is not a yeah. topic. Fuck, he's Gear No, he's not. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, like I said, it's he's not a, a joker. That, that's no, not no, a no. They're setting up Hidden Beast Gear Chronicles so I, hard. And honestly, I say it's crayon. Oh, crit oh, like, I, like I said, that's going to be a topic for another day. Yes. Let's talk about the two. We're going to see it, right? We're going to see it. Let's talk about the two that have nation delegation. So, Professor, let's start with you because you play Angel Feather. Actually, you are one of the most Angel Feather playing units, units. people here, besides Mr. Cat Meow. What do you want that dude to do? The new Zero Dragon? What, what do you want it to do? Uh, the United Granted, because I, I, I thought it would do, it will do, all the Zero Dragons will have a touch of every nation. It's really not that. It's a combination. It's a combination of every one what they normally do. Dra Dragon Empires discarding Nubatama, Murakumo, or whatever. Blow up the entire field, every other Dragon Nation. Uh, Aqua Forces, Resurrection, multiple attacks. So it's is high number, and if I hit you, I win type of scenario. Uh, impossible escapes, basically. So what do you win? That is a very good question. Um, there's the way I wanted to go route, and then the logical route thing about, like, well, give us both. The way I want it to go is I want it to have some sort of um, power-up skill 
that also lets us call cards. Now That's do you, do, now that do you want would cards out of it? Do you want cards yeah. out of deck? Damage or drop, or when you go into it, you have to pay a certain thing, but you can call them from anywhere. They're generally, they're generally it, two counters. Look, it, 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 it feels to me more like it's just call in general. Yeah, that is from the deck. I bet it's, it's gonna be from hand. Like most, because most then you deck, combo most with Xion to make Xion better. Most of them are like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, most, most of the United, United cards I are, like, are like that. I would like the they're option to have small. either deck yeah. or damage. It's not gonna be damage, man. It's gonna be damage. No, it can be. It, because remember, the, in, the in the fighters' collection, oh, yeah, yeah, in the fighters' collection, they made a dragon that can call stuff out of damage. It's a ball, superior call from anywhere, <laughs> except <laughs> except the the graveyard, uh, the, uh, the graveyard, the drop zone. Maybe that'll be. Oh, no, wait. This drop is zone would be grand blue. Yeah. So I would say damage or deck or hand, oh, wait, either of those three. Wasn't the the one that was face uh the Apple first guy? Megalos. Megalos calls from drop. Maybe that's what Grandpa likes him. Yeah. Right. It's either it's it's, 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 no, it's either hand or drop. It's either or. It is. Yeah, but you have to go up to five. Fourteen. So you can go four drop with one hand, or it'll <laughs> drop all the same, whatever you want to do. Grim Blue likes him, Michael Blue yeah. likes him. So, what's the logical route that you feel that is most likely going to be? Well, the logical yeah, route is probably going to be from the deck, just because of the whole idea of That's what I was thinking, um, the gold coming from deck, royal from deck, shadow from deck. United Sanctuary does all that. So, that's the only real thing that we can think about it. Um, it would be from there. It may potentially get some type of crit. So, I can add? And then some type of power boost, but it can only go but so far. It's like um, I think guns. it might give this a unit power. Oh, I think that might fit the tone. Well, I it's feel not, that it's better it's because it's United it's Sanctuary. It's it's standing for your comrades. It's yeah, so one for all, all for power. one. It's maybe, we also kind of have to look at um, what the um, special hints that they usually put on the wiki, whatever side it is. It is that could give us some idea of what um, it does. Well, it doesn't even need to hit. It could just be literally rally to arms and. Those units coming yeah. out. It's, it's I just, mean, if it's it's just get buffed. If it's like no, a unit just like, just a special stride, part. It's, call it's unit from deck. Like they gain power, power for every. Uh, I mean, so uh, we saw the um, him say, "Oh, um, the biggest power ever in Vanguard." We see for Tony Stark, the um, the one coming for. Um, we saw. Do we know what he does? The yet? one to destroy yeah, everything. Not at all. Why do I feel like he's so? What's the last dragon to show? He's because I was going to something nice for that. No, it's going to be. It's mostly going to be dark zone. What was the? Um, little phrase they said for Ultima. My dick is too hard and it's super strong. It doesn't hit so hard. So, so that's that. So who wants, because I personally like, want to take this over because I find this dragon awesome looking is Dark Zone. Who uh, wants to take that guy? Me. All right. Me. We, we, so we, 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 we in my nation. We in my, we in my It's going to be a tough. Who actually, that's a question. I'm saying, if, I'm saying Counter Blast 2, and it revolves around Soul, oh, Soul, wait, wait, wait. mainly the Soul, because a lot of the Dark Zone. Now is even soul. yours now, because yours soul. is becoming more reliant on Soul blasting. So it's gonna, it's gonna do something with the zone, the Soul. I'm saying, similar to Megiddo, I'm saying it's gonna call a certain number of units from Soul, uh huh, and it's gonna affect what you have in your Soul and your field. It, we may not gain. We may not gain power. That's the only thing I can really see it doing. Because, like I said, it's dark zone. Every hour I last. Soul manipulation. Nothing more. Right, so, nothing less. So, like, like, so, but like, what? What do you? What do you want? And what's the most logical thing you think? That that dragon's gonna do. And honestly, I, there's nothing I really want from it. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm saying. For what I'm gonna see is maybe counter blast to you call from your. You call from your soul, and what the number equal to the number you call soul, either send into your your opponent sends that number of cards from hand, probably field to the to the soul, or it removes soul. That'd be dumb. Remove from soul. <laughs> Let's not put anything aside for Uchi. Don't take this. Don't take this. Pull it back. Yeah. Pull it back. Yeah. So so I'll cut in and. Just giving what I think oh might happen <laughs> is what I want is once again soul. What I think it might happen, or kind of what I want is it is gonna be soul manipulation, without a doubt, because Spike Brother does it, every, everything there does it. But what I want is you to kind of empty your hand, and what happens is. For every card that you get rid of out of your hand, you can superior call one unit out of your soul. The end of turn, they had to go immediately back into soul. But burning in, burning. For every so, and you had to do this one at a time. So say like you discard a grade three, 
and you call out a grade three. They might get a certain trait. Now, let's say if you call up to five and they, they all meet the same, and you don't have to do this, but let's say they all met the level of it. I think the Vanguard, Bless you. what it can do is it completely, how you said, completely blows out their soul, but there's a, but let's just say they can keep on doing it and there's a minus cost to them. So let's say they don't even get power. So let's say like literally they're gonna drain their whole life essence out of them and you just, they just mess over. Let, let's even say, and go as far as the doubt, they just destroy your entire hands. Because Spike Brothers now can just destroy your entire hand if they had the proper hand. So who knows? But I kind of wanted to do how Playmate uh, Maker Sama said, I want soul, but I want a really silly effect. It doesn't need to be serious. I just want a hilarious effect. Thank you. <laughs> so that's actually silly. Uh, <laughs> so we're so are we crossing Pokemon now with Vanguard? No. I see a Zubat up there. You go in the cave, there's a bunch of Zubats, right? Oh so why are there a bunch of robots flying around now? Right. Vince, do you know this? What? Do you know this? Zubat. What about Zubat? What is it? It's a Pokemon. No. Who wants to break him the news? What is it? What? Zubat is the newest GR stride for Extreme Battlers. I think it's called Undying Champ or Undefeated Champ. Some, uh, Extreme Battler Zubat Victor. <laughs> oh, <laughs> serious? And, oh, and, and, and its emblem no, is the shape of it's, a demon back. It's a, but it's amazing. Its effect is amazing. It's really good. What, what does it do? It's really good. Uh, what does it do? Let me, all right, let me pull it over. Please. Wait, no, Wait, Wait, is it good? Oh, it is a grade three. Never mind. It's a grade three. It's a grade three. No, it's not grade three. Grade three, Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, it's a tree battler. Counterblast one. When you're when you, counterblast one, what a, when your G unit strides, you may pay the cost. If you do, draw a card. Choose a card from your hand. Call to the rear guard. If you do, choose uh, choose one unit, and that unit gets at the end of turn when it's a vanguard or rear guard. When this, uh, once per turn, when this unit attacks, choose another one of your rear guards and he stands it. You stand it. Its second effect is at the end of your turn, and this is not even GB. At the end of your turn, if the number of face card cards in your damage is one or less, counter charge. If the number of cards in your soul is one or less, soul charge. And you do if you both, do both, you draw, you draw a card. card. Dang. It's, and the great fort, the, the new great fort, Champ Victor, amazing. It's not even once per turn. Champ, um, yeah, this is why this thing's a GR. Winning champ victor. Winning, I can pull it up. Uh. Sorry, okay. guys, we're working with a really crappy connection here tonight. Yep. The internet's terrible. Right, here, here's the skill. Go to Comcast and be exposed. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a uh, soul blast. Soul blast one. Choose a card face down. And your G-Zone turn picks up. Not even the same card. And this is not even once per turn. When a rear guard stands, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose that that unit and your vanguard get plus five so until you, end of turn. So you can see the shenanigans here. If stand triggers or own effects standing a unit, you can soul blast one. They both get 5k, which makes them bigger. And most of the new units now saying if they're bigger than another unit, they can just snipe them out, yeah. right? And, and, and this is and this is the effect of. Um, and the great G3 uh, ability of winning champ victor is at the end of the battle, this unit attack, draw a card, and choose one of your rear, your opponent's rear guards with the least amount of power, and retire. So they kind of it's like, they're, it's, they're, they're, they're shifting the new extreme battlers of being literally battlers. Like they're literally making all these cards be able to control the field to help them preserve longer. Because not only we have shark. If, you, if people still play Shark, I highly doubt it though. You have Shark, you have the promo grade too, which is amazing because that gets bigger. And now you have the Scorpion one that does the same effect. <laughs> so they're kind of changing it to the point where they can just snipe stuff off the field while still attacking you and getting bigger. <laughs> That's impressive. And, and while we're on the battle of Novograpp, um, the topic of Novograpp, even though this is not an extreme battle, I just want to talk about the new G unit. Have you, have you read it? Which one's that? Mido, Mido Kaiser, um, Dal Daltanian? 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 Yeah, Daltanian? Oh, the one that the Mo Kamui used. Yep. Right? It's That's effect. So it's, it's a. Have you read the effect? No, I thought it was something else. Tell it. Uh, tell it. Right, the effect is. Uh, the effect is. Do it. Um, do it. 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 Do it.
That's another thing. All right, the effect of Daltinia is um, continuous. When the number of you rear guards is less than the, your opponent's, the shield gets plus 10. So basically, if you have more rear guards at your opponent than your opponent when you G guard with the shield, the minute you intercept and move that and, your num and the number of rear guards you have is dropped, its shield goes up. Oh wow. Does that card say when it's placed or? It's continue? when it's placed, it's a continuous. So then you would have to intercept before you do that. Would you? Yes, because it's the same wording as spangled. Okay. Oh, because you used that, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then it's. It still works, so I have a second card. It just, it, you just have to just come on and say we're doing it. But then it's, it's, it's act skill from the G zone. Just mwah. He stands, wow. he stones. Okay, so it's, we're kissing his fingers. Hold up, hold up. We're, we're newsflash here. Wow. What? I ooh, I don't think he's going to be needed anymore. Okay, so Balalama skill. This is a stride unit. What the fuck? It's a new stride unit, most likely a triple R that Ghastly uses. Um, and oh Gasly? my god, his ability. Yeah, his, 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 Gastille. I call him Ghastly so because Gastille. he's spooky. Okay, <laughs> oh, so Jesus. this card is what it ridiculous. What does it do? What does it do? All right, so before I go into details, and this is a personal response to Revolver, you told me, and I told you you were a fool. <laughs> <laughs> playing OTT, Battle Sisters, mind you, was not going to run Stillwater, and I wanted to slap you because I told you you were running two of those. <laughs> because two of he, two most of people here thought thought Stillwater was oh just hers. No, it's the end of turn. This happens, so we're gonna go with this. Uh -huh. It's a stride, counter pass one, persona flip. This is all the information we have so far. Choose one of your opponent's rear guards retire. Increase this unit's power by the unit retired by this effect. Then, oh, Lord, soul Lord. charge four cards. Oh, Lord, Lord, Lord. This unit gets plus one drive to end a turn. Darkness, GB3. If the amount of cards in your soul is 13 or more, your opponent is not allowed to guard with, to guard with great ones until end of turn. Applies to all of your units. Oh, Lord, Lord, look who's fought it. No PGs. And this is darker regulars. This is yeah, oh. new darker regulars. This is most That's likely the triple R that he uses to be the opponent. Uh, so as of that, I mean, God, that they basically just gave the ability of Stillwater and just change it to no great ones. So, so the new self says. Delicious, give me that 11K. I'm 11K now. Oh wait, everything is gonna change by power. These guys get bigger now. I just I just wanna finish oh. out the effect of Dark Tanyan, because the axe skill from the G-Zone yeah. is amazing. What is it? Soul Blast 1, turn this card face down. Um, face down. For, for, um, turn this card face down from face up. So basically take it, reset it back into the G-Zone. Mm -hmm. Choose, choose a card in your damage or your circle. And turn it face up. So this says you can either counter charge or unlock a card. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, anti lock. Well, every, every almost every guy is gonna have one, but the fact that a lot of the G guard, a lot of them are getting G guards like this. The fact that they're getting one like this, and Dogtanian already gets bigger already. Dogtanian is probably gonna to be most likely a four of. <laughs> because forget the other one that requires one face up because that's not good enough anymore compared to that thing yeah. I feel it will slow you down to a point until you start striding more and more but all you gotta do is just use persona striders yeah. Okay, man. The, the, all of these cards are getting so crazy. What the fuck do we need like freaking zero zero dragons for? Like it's just just displacing. Oh, they, they, they are, they are, okay, okay. We have GB. We have GBAs for crying out loud. Before we get too far games. into that, that is also another topic for another time. We should GBAs. probably wrap this up because we have been talking for a little while. Yeah, getting yeah, over yeah. All right, but fine. Moving to final there. thoughts. Does anybody so, else have anything they yes, want? Yes, actually. Yeah, I have. Well, you go first. Right. I'm just saying. Actually, I feel like. Feel like what? 
Yo, you should roll for initiative. Yo, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get out of here. But he said he could go first. It's his stuff. He should get primary. So I'm saying go first. Right. Look, I'm just saying. Yo, yo, the, th- the thing you were saying about that zero on the dark and regular thing is like so weird. I'm just saying, like, you know, just. Yeah, it's just a wacky skill. It's wacky, wacky. skills. Just wacky just, just All these it. dragons have wacky skills. Well, that's right. what they are. Just, just make it wacky just race. Race. It's like, <laughs> I, I, I don't know. It's just like, what if you, like, soul charge your entire. Like, you're almost your entire deck except one. How about yeah. that? And then, and then, like, it's just. What is this? What? Oh, what is this? What, uh, wing, no, what is that? I, a wing dragon, a raw ripoff? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's final attack order. Oh, God. Oh, my God. All right, attack so order, my it. thing I have to say right. is for some reason, this guy right here, my second lieutenant, no, my first lieutenant. Oh, dear God, Black Jesus. He's getting another reprint, and I'm shocked that he is. Oh, my gosh. But oh, I will say this right now. In proper play, if you go Shunui's dominate ability, go first. Uh, do a Shunui's ability, then you you but you crack his first. This is automatic win a lot of times if there are five damage. And I don't understand why most people play it. I'm kind of happy he's getting reaper for people to actually get him. Is the Red one is true? Oh no, stop it. Yes. <laughs> now let's get one thing straight. Let's get another thing straight. I mean, it is a pretty expensive card, but I tried when I got it. Exactly. That's why I'm happy that they know this is not a, not not enough in circulation, and they're gonna make another reprint yeah. in set 14. Yeah, true. I'm happy about that because let's be honest here, no one has these apparently. <laughs> <laughs> I had that. Not everyone! <laughs> Are you everyone? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, well that's, I guess, all the time we're right. <laughs> Just recapping off of what we said, everybody take the time to read your cards here and there. Give us your thoughts about Resist and Zen of Dragons and what you guys are hoping for. True. I mean, sky's the limit. We don't know until Bushy Road puts it on ink and pad and tells us that's it. Right. Let us know in the comment section what you thought. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe to this boy, Dr. G, right here. <laughs> hey. And remember, hey. so, you gotta choose between the ashes, red or blue, oh. red or blue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and by all means, if you guys liked what you heard here, want to see more of it, let him know so this way we can keep this going yeah. every now yeah, and then. Yeah, please do, guys. Yeah, please tell me if, if you guys want more of this. So, so roll out, roll, yeah, roll out, roll call. out, call out. Who, who are you? We're gonna go opposite. This who are you? Is the professor. Professor, who are you? I am the traitor. The traitor. Who are you? Play me, got some Who are? Who Revolver. Are you? <laughs> and I'm Doctor G. Signing out. <laughs> <laughs>